Hey internets, two weeks ago I went on a family road trip to see the Falcon 9 rocket over at the SpaceX headquarters and then headed up to the NASA JPL open house and we drove there in a rented Tesla Model S and it was really cool. You should check out the video montage that I made, it's somewhere up here. So if you don't know me yet, after I'm done experience something, I always like to think, okay, how can this experience be better next time? And so I had an idea for a Tesla renters app. Okay, for this renters app, I had this idea where it can be a more slimmed down version, a more basic version than the owner's app. Okay, so in my quick wireframes, I have the home screen here and would have the uh, owner's name, the battery charge, the photo of the car, and then some options. And the options I put are things I really wish I had when renting the car so I can remotely monitor and control the, the car. So things like climate, climate control, uh, lock and unlock the car, seeing the car's location, but also I want to monitor the charging as well. But not only that, it would be really nice to have a way to contact the owner and see your rental agreement and rental dates. And so here's some wireframes, like here's the home, and then for the rental agreement, it would just be two tabs. And then here it would be like a way to either text or chat and then call or, or call the owner, okay? And then I have um, this grid here. So let me show you what I've made. So here's the finished product. I added uh, two little animations right there, as you can see, but uh, let's go through it. So you have the original owner's name and then the name of their car. And so this part looks the same as the regular app, as well as this part, but here's what looks different. Uh, I, To me, I didn't agree with those three, uh, three circles in the middle of the screen. Uh, it just didn't really make sense uh, not to have a label, but I guess the more you use a car, the more you get used to the to knowing what icon means what. But as for a renter, maybe I wouldn't know that, and I would hardly have this app installed, and so I would need labels for each of the icons. Okay, and also I tried to push all of the main functions down to the bottom so it can be easier with one hand. So right here, uh, like if you're right handed, your thumb could only reach up to like this area. Okay, so I decided, you know what, let me let me make it easy for any right hander. Uh, well, let me make it easy for 
one-handed operation so you can click on any of this to get to where you need so as you can see it's very slimmed down than the actual uh, owner's app all right so these three buttons don't do anything but i just want to show off uh this renter information so yeah so you have basic tabs to see your de so the details of the renter details of the rental and then you can go to a date so i didn't really want to make a calendar so i just use a google calendar and just embed it and there's nothing in here but yeah so pretend like your rental dates are in there and then just like legalese your agreement and any other things you know so this is just lorem ipsum right here so let's go back and then the last thing right here the contact the owner so it would be really nice if you really wanted to talk to the owner about something you know or the owner wanted to contact you just to see how things are doing you know so you can have a chat box maybe this could be part of i don't know text messaging or something but yeah i mean wouldn't that be nice elon contacting you <laughs> or renting his car and then uh Oh, that's ugly. <laughs> okay, so I made that white. So I guess I have to I have to figure out that code. Figure out the code to make it where uh where iPhone doesn't change the color. I think I can find that. I'll change it. I'll change it soon enough. But yeah. So if you press call, it immediately starts calling um the owner. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think about this uh, prototype, this mock. Let me know what you think about this idea. Uh, just leave them in the comments below. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. And as always, make the web beautiful. See ya.